our art, our film, our shows, and so forth, um, have to ask questions. We, as filmmakers, are more than just getting our jollies off of being artistes, you know. We are communicating. And if we want to communicate anything that they'll pay us to communicate, or if we want to communicate something that means something to us, then that's our responsibility. That's why I'm saying that, that, uh, that how we look at the planet and humanity now is overall being threatened, and we are part of the threat unless we, as communicators, say, hold the phone. In our films. Wait and, a second. And how has, how has that point of view affected your career? I mean, I know for many years I shot commercials. The last commercial I shot was for Carl's Jr. We opened our first Carl's some 40 years ago. We sold hamburgers for a quarter and a Coke for a nickel. But a smile. Oh, with a really good-looking woman biting into a, a greasy uh, hamburger. One hamburger at a time. A good, honest meal at a good, honest price. We sold an old-fashioned hamburger back then. Today, we still do. It's like the hamburger, they had three... Uh, technicians on with little toothpicks to make things higher, and a guy with a, with a brush brushing the stuff uh, on. And the producer of the commercial knows I'm a vegetarian, <laughs> so so. But anyway, but but I was I was being well paid, and I did. And then I finally said, okay, I'll so forget that. Uh, just as my friend Conrad Hall and I stopped doing cigarette commercials. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. We did all the Marlboro commercials, and they were big money makers for it. My friend Conrad Hall was a director of photography, shot many great pictures, has Academy Awards. And so we decided, look, at, we know cigarettes kill people. And we're going to tell the agency guys, who are our friends and really good guys, that look, we're not going to shoot them anymore. Then they came to us about two months later, and they said, uh, Neil McBain, the guy, guy was in the agency, he said, look, we have, we have a Marlboro commercial uh, for you guys to do, and I think you can do it, you know, because it's, uh, it's in Europe. It's for Europe. So, so, so I said, Neil, look at we don't we, we don't shoot cigarette commercials. And um, so he said, Well, you don't understand. Uh, you'll be able to shoot in Chinichita. We have four days in Italy to shoot, and you can bring your own crew and have another five days in in Paris or in London on the way back. And I said. Look at Neil. We we don't do them. We don't. We, they don't you understand? And um, so then he said what the budget was, and I forget the figure, but it was pretty good for those days. So then I said, and my my partner Conrad was in his office next to me. So then I then I said, well, uh, talk to Conrad, and then. When the guys walked in to Conrad's office, a, a, a light bulb went off in my head, and I said, "Jesus, Haskell, if if Conrad says yes, you're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna make, you're gonna make the money. That's not too bad." <laughs> and and so um, I did. I did, in sort of a microcosm, I saw the whole idea of, of how what I do as a communicator um, has a price. And you, of course, you deal with it every day. You deal with it every day. And uh, that's our responsibility as communicators.
Now, I don't know if that answers your question, but that answers it for me. This is what I dedicated my life to.